Hello traders, a couple of events coming up over the next couple of days. Tonight at 6pm I'm going to do an overview of what's going on in these markets. So I'll send you a link for that as, uh, if you want to join me for a quick 30 minute catch up uh, for some of the best scalps this week and potentially moves as we head into the triple witching on Friday. If you don't know what triple witching is I'll go through that very quickly tonight at 6. Uh, tomorrow at 1 uh, there's a lovely picture of me. I'm talking about um, scalping, and you can get this from roundthecloctrader.co.uk. So, they, Round the Clock Trader are the host, and I'm looking forward to meeting you and a lot of other traders to talk about how to uh, scalp. It actually says swing trading there. I did ask them to correct that, never mind. Um, right, markets. So, I'm just going to give you a quick update as to what I'm seeing in these markets. So I think this Dow. Is incredibly bullish still. I still think there's at least another leg left in this. So you can see we've had a big push out of 2018 into 2019. Um, so all these dips got bought, and then we did break the trend line and dip down again. But so far, yeah, you know, this is just a, this is just a pullback. I think there is plenty more upside to get into. 26,000 on Friday. Now on triple witching, uh, it means a lot of options expire and futures contracts expire. And you tend to get a pull towards the nearest biggest number. So it's possible we could see a push up from 25,600 into 26,000. Who knows? Maybe even punch through it if I'm right. Uh, if I'm wrong, we will break this week's lows and come and see 25,000. So we're just sandwiched in the mid, pretty much almost midline or just above midline between 25 and 26. But with that push on Monday, that to me was the, you know, the, the core signal for the week. And all we got to do is break 25,750, another 120 pips up from where we are now. And we could head back up to these highs of 26,140. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing in the Dow. Um, if I were to short the Dow, if I were to look for shorts in the Dow, I should say, I would fib this and potentially look for 27,000. Because if we break above 27,000, we could go to 28.5 or even 30. So you can see the Monday, the reason, one of the reasons I'm bullish is the Monday bar actually closed above that fib area. So that was the December. Yeah, this is fibs on the 2018 highs and lows. So of course, if we knock into 25.7, then we and close lower underneath 25.4 at least, then look for the lower number. So decision day, but on the current evidence, I would buy these dips, keep buying dips, and then see if this can push higher. Right, other indices. The story in Europe is very different. This DAX has come out of this, is underneath this structure, this trend line, from this cell here. But we've not closed underneath 11.5 yet. So it's if we get a break of this week's high, we could go to 12. Uh, otherwise, you know, we seem pretty stuck in this box at the moment. So whichever way we come out of this box, it's going to give us direction. And the low of that is 11.4. So we're only 120 pips off of this uh, weekly low here. Now the last time we consolidated, last time we moved sideways, we pushed higher. So we dipped. That's generally the, the, you know, the signal of a bullish consolidation. So they might dip it down here. And then if that gets bought, then we could push higher. Okay, so here we consolidated, we dipped, pushed higher. Doesn't always work like that. Um, you know, we consolidated, we sold, consolidated, broke the low, etc. Um, consolidated. Couldn't you know, had a sell signal here. Eventually, the highs sold, and we and we came down. Okay, so we are 
uh, on probation here. This this DAX is on probation. We can't get through this trend line, but we're not closing underneath 11.5, so be careful. Right, a quick look at the other ones, a quick look at FTSE and then pound. Right, I instigated a swing short at these highs last week. Um, so I have taken some off on these lows, but we are holding this trend line, um, moving very much sideways. So this dip here, where I took some profits, could be the signal for this to go back higher. Okay, so we are in a box. So let's see which way we break out of that one. Right, let's have a look at the pound. So here's the pound versus US dollar cable based on the 2018 highs and lows. And I've zoned this area off here in this box. And then the outer zone here and here. So you can see at the moment we've come into this zone a couple of times and failed. Got trendline support underneath us. So we're going to get a severe break out of here at some stage. Um, who knows, today could be it. So if we break that low 130, we could be coming something down. If we close in into this area at 132, then we could be going back up to 135, 136, and who knows, maybe even more. Okay, so you would have thought that we end up at 130 on bearing in mind what I've just said about uh, triple watching. So let's have a look at that. Okay, otherwise, you can let's just look at one other thing. This stock, Boeing, is one of the biggest factors in the direction of the Dow. It's the, it's the, I think it accounts for something like 11% of the Dow because the Boeing, Boeing is so big, BA Boeing. So because of the air crash and, and the problems that has now ensued, in other words, a lot of aviation authorities just closing their skies off to the Boeing 737 MAX, uh, you know, we come down to the 50%. At the moment, we're holding with the potential to come lower into 350. There was a sell signal before the crash anyway. Uh, we were very, very high. I think this is the, the biggest decline in Boeing for years in, in any one short period. So that's the drag on the Dow. If this, if this does continue closing lower, that the move I've just talked about on the doubt could be over. But be careful, let's just uh, take it easy. There is a gap there. At some stage that gap will fill. So we've gapped down on uh, Monday. So like I said, that gap will fill at some stage. Now whether it is, whether we are a day or two away, a week or two, a month or two, nobody knows. In the meantime, there is a lot of downward pressure on it. And looks as if 390 could be a good area to short and see if that can come lower. All right, so uh, take me up on those links. Come and join me for tonight at 6 and tomorrow at 1. And then on the 23rd of March, we have the event in Covent Garden, London. Um, so it's here. Oh, it's here, sorry. Live Covent the live show, round the clock live show, it's going to be, the last one was really brilliant, very well attended. Um, the organisers give me a nice big room, so come and join me, uh, throw some questions at me, let's go look at really lift the lid off scalping and look at all the ins and outs of scalping and the system and the methods I use and the sort of things that go on in our trading room, find out more. And of course, there's lots of other speakers, some great speakers throughout the day uh, in different rooms around the uh, Connell rooms in Covent Garden. Book up. It's free. I'll send you the link. And so hope to see you on the 23rd. All right. So I'm still bullish the, the Dow, but keeping a very, very close eye on Boeing to see if that is going to continue lower because that might drag it down. All right. Be very careful, trade with the utmost professional risk management and your account should do well. All right.
Talk to you very soon. Bye.